blessings everyone. Well, welcome po muli sa ating daily devotions. And as we go back to our uh, series for this week, we're looking at the prayer life of Daniel. Sabi natin, kilala si Daniel na mapanalanginin. In fact, dahil sa kanyang pagiging prayerful, ito ang nag, uh, dulot sa kanyang upang maitapon sa uh, uh, lion's den. But we, we said that in in Daniel in the book of Daniel we, we are zooming into chapter 9 where we see uh, Daniel's prayer and we can learn a lot as we have said from this prayer kung ano ba ang na, talagang nasa puso ni Daniel and ano ba dapat ang nasa puso natin pag tayo na nalangin right so let me share with you my bible again and uh, we are looking at Jeremiah uh, Daniel chapter 9 in the first year of Darius, the son of Ahasuerus, by descent a Mede, who was made king over the realm of the Chaldeans in the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, perceived in the books the number of years that, according to the word of the Lord to Jeremiah, the prophet, was passed before the end of the desolation of Jerusalem, namely 70 years. And we said, kahapon, ang panalangin na nagibigay papuri sa Diyos, a, a prayer, a, a prayer that's really true and genuine is coming from a heart filled with scripture. Kasi nakit natin si Daniel, ang pinapatungkulan niya ng panalangin niya, and as we are given the the parang introductory material ng, ng panalangin na ito, he was in uh, scripture. He was actually uh, looking at the book of Jeremiah, particularly na nakita niya, natunghayan niya, na habang siya'y mananalangin sa, para sa kanyang mga uh, kababayan, as he is about to pray for his people, he he was uh, um, looking at scripture, particularly yung um, prophecy ng ating Panginoong Diyos with regards to their uh, exile. At according to sa, ito sa atin nakita, according to the prophet Jeremiah, ito ay 70 years lang. And, and we asked yesterday, ano, pa, ano po ba ang alam natin sa scripture? Gano po ba karami ang alam natin Biblia o Sultan ng Diyos para mag magamit natin sa pangnalangin natin. And Jeremiah knew scripture. And so, as he was about to pray for his uh, people, and sana tayo rin kung tayo manalangin, dapat po ay meron tayong baon-baon na tangan-tangan na salita ng Diyos. Right? In order for us to be praying according to His word, according to His will, and that the prayer that would glorify Him. Ano pa makikita natin dito? Let's look at verse 3. Sabi niya, Then I, Daniel, turned my face to the Lord God, seeking Him by prayer and pleas for mercy with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. Very beautifully nakikita natin dito, mga kapatid, kung paanong hindi lang galing sa puso na babad sa salta ng Diyos ang panalangin na um, totoo at tunay. We, we see, ang panalangin ay napakaseryoso para kay Daniel. Right? Kasi minsan even in our prayer life makita po kung hindi kung gaano tayo kaseryoso sa prayer life natin. Sabi nga nila, malalaman natin ang, ang kaseryosohan ng isang mananampalataya sa kanyang pananampalataya kung gaano siya kaseryoso sa kanyang prayer life. You can find out how serious a person is about his his or her uh, uh spiritual walk when when you look at his or hers uh, um, her her prayer life. We see, sinabi to Daniel, I gave my attention to the Lord to seek Him. Sabi niya, I turned my face to, to the Lord seeking Him. Sinabi niya, uh, 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 na determined siya to see, to look, to be fully engaged. It has a picture of be, being focused and to be consumed in, in His prayers. Right? Sabi niya, uh, as he was in scripture, sabi niya, then, then after niya makita ang scripture, I turned my face. Seryoso siya. Na, na, dahil na udyukan siya, na, na, na um, mold siya ng salta ng Diyos, then he knows he, he needs to go to the Lord, to, to be seeking Him by prayer and please for mercy. Gano'n ka seryoso? Well, sabi pa sa end ng verse, with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. Itong mga katagang ito, yung uh, fasting, uh, sackcloth and ashes, expresses humility. Alam ni Daniel kung sino ang kanyang pupuntahan sa panalangin at kung si, ano ang dapat niyang gawin. He needs to be serious about uh, his prayers at nagsimula ito sa kanyang pangunawa sa 
Diyos na kanyang pinapanalanginan. Because he has been saturated, he's been, he's been immersed in scripture, therefore he is serious about his prayer. Napansin natin, sabi niya, I, I gave my attention to the Lord. I seek uh, my, my God. Fully engaged siya. Wala, walang uh, uh, pag... Uh, um, Walang, walang pretensions, walang, walang duda, he would. In fact, the seriousness is found in, in his humility. Ang panalangin ko po para sa atin, dapat ganito rin po ating prayer life. I pray that, again, we would start with scripture. You can pray scripture. And as you start praying from your own heart, from, from your very lips, I pray that you will be earnest and serious about it. And na ang Diyos na ating kasambahin ay tuloy nga na Diyos na makapangirin sa lahat. And I pray that there will be a sense of humility as we approach God, uh, God's grace upang humingi ng habag at tulong sa Kanya. Again, willing po ba tayo na maging seryoso sa ating buhay para ng pataya? Malalaman po yan kung gaano tayo kaseryoso sa ating pong panalangin. I pray that we would be uncompromising with our desire to be in Scripture, un uncompromising with our uh, resolve to be serious about uh, uh, praying and, and prayers. And uh, I pray that we would be humble before the Lord as we approach His throne of grace. Right? Ito po ang ating reflection ngayon. So kahapon, true worship comes from a Bible-filled heart, through, uh, through prayers rather, through prayers is serious, and humble. Right? Sana po nakatulong ito sa atin. Sana po makita itong mga katotohanan ito sa ating mga buhay. Right? Sige po. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this uh, very concise verse that speaks of seriousness na nakita po kay Daniel with regards to prayer. Salamat nakita namin nagsimula ito sa kanya pong uh, paninindigan at conviction na um, maging malalim sa inyong salita. And therefore, Lord, He is serious about His prayers and He is humble uh, with regards to how He knows sino ang kanyang nilalapitan. Nawa matunghay niyo po kami na ganito rin. Minsan, Panginoon, wala nang uh, reverence sa amin as we pray. Yes, we are praying to a friend, but Lord, we are praying not just to a mere friend. We're praying to someone who's Lord over all, the God of everything, the universe, the creator of the universe. And we pray that there will be a sense of seriousness and humility in our hearts as we approach you. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa mga lessons na ito. At tuluan niyo po kayo, Panginoon Diyos, na isa buhay ang mga bagay na ito. Maraming pong salamat muli sa pangalan mo, Jesus. Amen. Thanks for joining me in this very short uh, reflection. And I'll see you all tomorrow. God bless you po.